Yo, what's up guys, it's Zylex here, and today I'm going to show you the basics of workshop coding. Any of you guys don't know how to do it, I'm going to show you some basics and all the easy stuff to do. So when you come to your custom games, you press R1, and you've got the workshop here, press on it, and you got to press on add rule, and let's do something simple like we could do slow motion. So that we do slow motion on, so I call it slow motion on. You want to come to this, make sure it's on go in each player, and you can have it on all. Or like you can set it for like yourself can have it for like team one and you got add you want to go to scroll you want to scroll down here and you want to find it set slow motion and like you lower the number the lower the number the slower it goes like if I do zero and if we press square and then you want to go to here on add on conditions and you come here you scroll up and you look for is button held and like say if you want your crouch button to make slow motion you go on crouch you press square and that's done there and you're gonna add another rule and this one's gonna be slow motion off so like you name it slow motion off like this i left that slow on my bad motion on keep some space out and then like you go on back on here each player you can do it for yourself team one you go here scroll down back to set slow motion 100 that's pushing default and you go on here and then you say that for you go for is button held again and then you say interact which is your left analog stick you click it down and it turns off it's like this now, I'm going to start the game to show you what it looks like. Choose any hero you want. And then when I press circle, see that everything's in slow motion. And now when I do an emote, as you see, it's in super slow motion. It looks really funny, it's really good. So look at emotes and stuff, like really cool emotes. And then, as soon as I press down my left analog stick, it's back to the normal speed. And yeah, that's how you do simple slow motion. And now I can show you another thing. So let's clear these out. And add a rule. Let's do, uh, hmm, let's have a think. What we can do next. I'll show you guys how to do the custom ultimate. So you want to name this ultimate. And then you like, and then put off, so it's ultimate off, and you go on here, each player, you want to go and add, and you want to come to, you want to search, you press L1 and X, and you type it in here, you just type in alt, and press R2, press R1, set ultimate ability enabled there, you come here, you search for false, and you press square, and now your ultimate is off and then basically you, if you want to make a new ultimate now you just give it a name so I call it ultimate and then the name of it will be I'm going to call it super heal super heal and then basically like I'm going to go on each player if you want it for like a certain character you can just do this go on player and then go to say mercy and you can add you come here you type in heal click on this one here and you put a number of how much health you want to heal with your ultimate so it's like 150 hp press square and then you go on here on create condition and you want to go on is button held and then you press on ultimate press square and now, right, now I'm going to start the game and show you how this works. Take some damage. Look on my health bar, press triangle, and you're healed. So yeah, that's how you basically make it like a super heal ultimate ability. And I'll show you guys one more basic thing. Let's do, uh, we go on beast player. 
Say if you want to do some, you want to make an effect, you come here, you search for create, you go on create effect, you got here, the effects you have, sphere, light shadows, orb, ring, cloud, sparkles, sparkles are, are nice, you choose the color here, say you want blue sparkles, press blue, this is how big, like the radius of the sparkles are, so like if I put 50, there'd be a lot of sparkles, and then the button I want to make sparkles, Come over here to get condition. Is button held and say interact, which is left analog stick, click it down. And then like I name it here. Sparkles on. Add another rule and name it sparkles off. And then you go under on go in each player, add, and you want to do destroy all effects, press square, condition, go back here, each button held and then you say crouch, press square, and now restart the game. So I choose like, I just choose May for this. Now when I press L3, as you see the sparkles come out of my character, doing a moat here, look. Some sparkles coming out, very nice. And if you want more sparkles, just keep pressing the button that you turn those sparkles on with. And I see there's a ton of sparkles coming out of my character, very colorful, nice. And all I gotta do is press circle, and it's all gone. Simples. So, yeah, that's it for this first tutorial on the workshop. I'll be making more soon. If this video hits 15 likes, I'll do a part two. I'm creating some other stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.